Hey guys, welcome to my channel, All Korean Tutorials. Today, I'm going to tell you how can we convert a website into an Android app. Let's begin. But first of all, if you're watching my channel for the first time, I request you to please subscribe so that you never miss my videos. So first, we will launch the Android Studio. Select the new project. Select the empty activity. And we will click next. Then it will give name to our application. I'm writing here web activity. You can write your own name. Leave other things up and click finish. And you will see two things have opened. Activity underscore main dot XML and one main activity dot Java. We will go to activity underscore main dot XML. Here what we will do, we will first delete this text view hello world and we will also change this layout from coordinator layout to relative layout. We will create a web view which having a full stretch of the screen. So we will write width will be match parent and height will be match parent. We will also assign an id, id slash web view. Then we have to give some permissions to the project. So let's go to android manifest.xml on the left side. And here below where the package is written, enter a line and write uses permission android name equal to. There will be some options coming. Select the first option android dot permission dot internet. Then what we can do since uh, we will also change the app icon. I have some uh, logo of my website. I will copy that and I will paste on the drawable folder, right click on the drawable and paste on the second option and change the name. Here you have to be careful that the first letter should not be capital letter, otherwise it will not accept. So I am writing here small letters logo.png then press ok. So here in the uh, android icon, we can change it from mipmap.ic launcher to at the rate drawable slash logo because it is inside the drawable. Then we will go to the values, then we will go to the strings. In the strings we have the app name. So in the app name we will change this my web activity to uh, learn android so that the icon on your mobile phone will show the name of the app as uh, your app. The name of the my app is uh, learn android so I am changing that so that way it will be uh, complete. Also this drawable uh, slash logo we can copy and we can also put the same thing in the uh, android round icon so that the logos are same in both type of icons. So you can see on the left side you can see the mini pictures of your logo is also coming so that you can verify that the correct logo has come. Then uh, what we want, we don't want the upper bar which normally comes, the default bar which comes on the Android app. We want full screen to be utilized. So we will go to themes and click on the themes.xml and you will see on the top there is a style name, there is a style material components dot day and night dot dark action bar. Here we will delete the dot dark action bar and we will write no action bar. Similarly we will do in the other theme night dark action bar, we will write dot no action bar. UI is complete, manifest as well as android main.xml is complete. Now it's time to do coding in the uh, main activity. So in the main activity, we are going to define a widget web view. It's basically extension of the view class which takes care of the viewing of the websites, uh, basically the URLs. Let us write web view web view. Inside the on create method, web view equal to find view by id r dot id dot web view. Then what we'll do, inside the web view we have to load our URL. I will show the step, then we will go to the further steps how to make the app better and better. So we will write web view dot load URL. Inside the URL you will write your URL of the website. So https double slash learn android dot net. That's my website name and also put a slash. Then uh, let us just write this much only and uh, let us run and see what happens. Then we can understand how it works. So when you run it, you will see the app is installed and it's launching. So I have mirrored my phone screen here and you can see the logo has come and the label learn android has come and when we click on that, it opens the app but the problem is that if it is opening directly the URL in the browser, so it is not opening inside the app and showing you your website in the browser, basically showing the mobile view of your web app. So you can see this website has come and uh, all the tutorials which is uh, which are in the website are also appearing and you can uh, scroll infinitely but when you click the back button it shows the blank screen is go to the app where it is a blank screen so that's not what we desire so what we'll do we'll go back to our coding and above the load url we will use the web view dot 
we will write webview.setWebViewClient. So this webview client takes care of the web view inside your app. After this, your app will not load the browser, but inside the web view, it will show the browser. So this webview client is very useful. Write new webview client. That's it. Now let us see what happens. Just run this right now and we will see the change. So it is launched and you can see the app is so instead of browser earlier, it is now opening inside the app. Webview client is able to handle the URL and showing it inside your app. And you can see we can scroll infinitely and all the things are coming to when we press on any blog, it goes to it. It opens the new page, but you can see some error has occurred. My YouTube video thumbnail, it is not able to show. And also the Google ads are also not coming. That's because we have not handled the uh, JavaScript inside the uh, website in our Android studio. Also, if you see when we when we press the back button, instead of going back to the previous page, it is closing the app itself. That's also not we desire for that. We will write web settings, web settings equal to web view dot get settings. And then we will write web settings dot set JavaScript enabled true. So once you do this, your Java will start coming and that means your ads and all your, all the functionality we built in the JavaScript will be appearing nicely. So let us run that. And uh, you will see the ads have started coming and uh, and also when you click see in the next page also this which was coming error earlier now it has coming but still the problem persists that when we press the back button it is closing uh, directly it is not going to the back page. So uh, because we have not configured the web view client properly so we have to add some more codes which are for basically configuring the web view client and handling the uh, URLs. So what we'll do outside the on create we will create a private class um, uh, let us give a name my web client extends web view client you will see the options inside that you will generate some override methods so search for the should override url loading so that's it it will be pasted automatically and you will generate one more at the override methods so go to generate and and on page we'll we will select on page started and then the outside the in the main activity we will uh, generate one override method which will be basically search for on back uh, pressed when we select that the code appears and now we have to write the if web view dot is focused and so along with this condition additional condition web view dot can go back so if these both the conditions are true we write web view dot go back else we will retain this uh, super dot on back pressed inside the else so that's it uh, this uh, completes the uh, client and then run the project and let us see how it works. So you will see the uh, first page is coming as usual and all the ads are also coming. That means Java is working. And when you press the uh, one of the uh, blog, it opens uh, the new page that also is okay. When you press back, you can see it comes to the previous page. It doesn't close this. So the back press is also handled properly. So web client is fully configured. So that's it friend. I hope you must have liked uh, this video. If you have learned something from this, I request you to please like, subscribe and uh, comment. Thank you very much for watching this video.